Hey there, I was contacted by John from London, and he was sending out his collection, he said, I have two pens I would like to gift you, and I said, okay, usually when people want to give me something, it's not a very expensive pen, which is fine, I love pens, I love all pens, and I like reviewing them, but he sent me the two pens he wanted to send me, I mean, he listed them, and I thought, so I said, are you sure? And he said, so I got them, and these are serious pens. If a pen comes in a box like this, then you know it is a serious pen. Conway Stewart, you open up this box, which is almost like a shoe box, I kid you not. It's not as deep, but it's it's about the size. Hard black cardboard, a nice little cushioning pillow. And then you get the actual box, because I thought that was the entire box, but no, in that box is a beautiful, I'm assuming, faux leather box. Look at that. You have these little clasps. Doing this one single-handedly is not very easy, but I'm awesome, so I can do it. Conway Stewart. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but it says Conway Stewart right there. And in that box is a lot of stuff. See? A lot of stuff. I'm going to show you all the stuff that's in the box. You get this. You are now the proud owner of a Conway Stewart pen. This pen has been quality checked by... Dots. They forgot to quality check the pen. Mm. But fortunately, it's a fantastic pen and there's nothing wrong with it, so it's no problem whatsoever. You get this. A silver polishing cloth. Which is interesting, because all the highlights are gold. But that's okay. A silver polishing cloth. Look at that. Then, you get a little booklet, Conway Stewart, the history, the collection, black and white, looks nice, filling instructions, you know, this kind of stuff. You get a bottle of ink, and yes, this is still sealed, John had not used that. I don't know what color this is, it looks like a moss minty green. That's two completely opposite colors, but it's my color. Moss minty green. It comes with a cigar. I don't have it to smoke cigars, but this one, I don't smoke at all, but this one does smell superb. Just saying. It comes with a hardback booklet. The quotable Winston Churchill. Well, let's just open this randomly and quote Churchill. In wartime, truth, truth is so precious that she should always be attended by a bodyguard of lies. Good. You should say that with a cigar in your mouth, then it'll sound even better. Um, which is cool. And then you get the actual pen, which by now, you have probably guessed, is a Winston. This pen is no joke. This is not a small pen. If you like smaller pens, or thin pens, or narrow pens, this is not your pen. John sent me a, uh, a nice letter with some highlights of the two pens he sent me. He says, this is an oversized and heavy pen weighing in at 54 grams. Well, he's not kidding. This is a seriously heavy pen. This has a large, solid, 18-carat gold broad nib fitted. 
John has a good taste in nibs. Broad, excellent. Juicy, I love it. The filling system is what Conway Stewart calls a twist system. This is essentially a captive converter accessed by unscrewing the blind cap. I've not experienced any issues with this system, but to get a maximum fill you need to ensure that the nib and feed are fully submerged in the ink bottle. I have found that this pen particularly benefits from the Visconti Travel Inkwell. Good, I have one of those. I'm going to try that. This assembly of the pen would be challenging. I think Tulin of FPN did, uh, did this with his, with photos, but he did not recommend it. No, I'll check out that post and I'll, I'll see if I want to attempt it, but as long as everything works, it's probably best to keep this in one piece, I agree. For some reason, all Conway Stewart pens I've purchased recently have silver polishing cloth, even though all the pens have gold trims. Excellent point! I don't understand either, but I guess if it works for silver, you could also use it for gold. But Fittings are solid, 18 karat gold. Well, well, well. I don't even know where to start. It's a gorgeous pen. The finish is stunning. And the whole pen... Wow. Nevertheless, I'm going to try. Cover the parts of the pen, show what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I will do a writing sample. It's a sort of flat top, except it's not really a flat top, because these edges are a bit rounded off. It's quite nice. Just look at that. If that is not gorgeous to you, then I'm sorry, but you have to discuss it with your therapist. Um, beautiful 18K gold trimmings. Look at that. Look at the clip. Center bands, two bands. They actually are a little bit in relief, so they, they stick out a bit. Clip works. It's tight, but not so tight that it's not usable. I think you can just put that. Yep, will fit into your shirt. No problems. Um, barrel. It says Winston number 472-098. <coughs> um, sorry. I don't know whether this is a limited edition, number 89 or 472. I do believe all Conway Stewart pens are numbered anyway, limited or not. Um, it says Conway Stewart made in England, and it's it's very nice because it's not obtrusive. You see that? You really have to look for it a bit. It's not in your face because if you don't know it's there from a distance, you're not really going to see it, which is very nice, I think. At the end of the barrel, which has a beautiful shape, see it's nice, sort of gets a bit thicker there. And then it tapers down. Beautiful. Beautifully balanced. End bit, blind cap, which you can screw off. And then you get that interesting... I'm not sure whether this is also gold, but in any case, that little turning knob. I'm not going to turn it now, because there's ink in there, and I would expel that. But that's what you do. So I think first you turn it counterclockwise to empty it, put in a bottle of ink counterclockwise, then clockwise, and then you draw up that... that um, converter that's built in, the piston of the converter, draw up ink. Unscrew the pen, or the cap, you get the fantastic section. I mean, a section is a section, but it, I love the shape. They really paid so much attention to detail here. The gold center band, this tapers down, then flares out just a little bit, making it lovely to touch, to hold, to feel. Um, <coughs> You get these threads there. Threads are not sharp. You feel them a bit, but the thing is, the section is so big, you can hold it all the way down there. Perfectly fine. Don't feel any threads whatsoever. Nib, 18K, broad, solid gold. Looks beautiful. Has the Conway Stewart logo. It says Conway Stewart 18CT C -T, gold and B for broad. Joy to use. Nice and springy. Very responsive. Lovely. I love it. Nice and shiny, gorgeous. This is a stunning pen. And John, thank you so much. This pen has found an excellent home with me because I love it. Okay. Capping that. 
What do I like about it? What do I don't like about it? I like the pen and I don't like anything. It's that simple. I love every bit. I love the shape of the pen. It's heavy. This is serious because of that brass lining. I have I don't think I've ever felt a pen like this. It is seriously top heavy, but because of that section is so nicely shaped, it's very pleasant to hold. I suppose you could <coughs> you could post this, but then it gets really big. And this finish is so nice, I don't want to do anything to that. So I would use this unposted, and it's more than heavy enough. Um, the top heaviness doesn't bother me, because once you put it to the paper, beautifully balanced, superb. The finish is beautiful. The nib writes. Every once in a while it gives me a bit of a hard start. I think it's just a little bit a baby's bottom syndrome. Uh, I look into that, but in any case, wow. Um, severely impressed. So again, John, thank you. Let us take a couple of measurements and then we'll do a writing sample. Um, weight, John already noted that it's 54 grams. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's what my scale says too. Um, so that's that's definitely a heavy pen. This is probably the heaviest pen I own. I think the heaviest I had was 50. Capped, we have a length of 142 millimeters. Uncapped, <coughs> sorry guys, I still have a bit of a cold. Um, uncapped, I come to 136 millimeters. Section diameter, yeah, that's hard to measure because it's so interestingly tapered. Narrowest point, I would say, is 11 millimeters. Widest point is a significant 13 millimeters. This is a big pen. If you have small hands, I'm not sure whether this is for you. <coughs> so, there you have it. The Conway Steward Winston Oversize. Beautiful. I hope this was useful. We'll do a writing sample next, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the beautiful Conway Stewart Winston. The nib is broad, 18K. And the ink is diamine. Ancient copper. And the paper is rhodia. A bit of writing. It's just crazy. This pen has been writing perfectly well. All day yesterday, I do a review. Boom shakalaka. Everything just passes out. I'm just saturating the feed here very slowly. Drawing that back in. Yeah! That's wet, and that's really disturbing handwriting. Okay, try again. This is not as wet as it usually would be. But I like it. This now says leeches, but you know what I mean. Um, Bit of fast writing, quite a pointless, such a saturated feed. Oh, this pen is a joy to use. Super smooth nib, beautifully responsive, wetness. Look at that. Now there is a wet pen, and yes, I have just primed the feed, but even so. Yeah, 
How about line variation? Light bit of pressure, you get that nice variation. It's great. It's great. Maybe a little bit of a baby's bottom there that gives it occasional skips, but I'll look into that. Um, final thing. Some people like to turn their nib upside down. It's very scratchy with this one. I wouldn't really try that. Uh, but you will get some fine writing. And uh, that's all there's to it. John, thank you so much. You've given me a fantastic pen. It will be one of the prized pens in my collection. Um, I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. And uh, that's all there's to it. So I hope this was useful. hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.